Hi everybody and welcome back. So today's video is definitely one that's been requested and that I've been meaning to do forever. I'm gonna tell you why I love coconut oil and a few ways that you can use it in your everyday life. First of all, coconut oil, obviously self-explanatory, comes from a coconut. Here in Malaysia, this is the bottle that it looks like, virgin coconut oil. And so this is big old bottle of coconut oil. It's cold pressed and unrefined. It's cholesterol free. It's fantastic. There's a bunch of different ways that you can use coconut oil. You can use it for health and beauty. You can use it in cooking. It's phenomenal stuff. I started using it before babies and all of that when I was living back in Canada for a hair treatment. Take a bunch of coconut oil and just put it in your hair and you're gonna look like a grease monkey but just put it in and let it sit there for a couple hours if you can. You can even actually put like a shower cap on your head and go to sleep with it though I'm not certain I'd recommend that because you might get like greasy pillowcases and things. You take a couple shampoos to rinse it out. Your hair is gonna be lovely and shiny, I promise you. Another way you can use it is simply as an all over moisturizer. The amazing thing about coconut oil is that it absorbs super quick and it is very lightweight and non-greasy which is surprising I know and you smell like a little coconut so that's even that's like an awesome side bonus and you're not gonna ruin your sheets or anything so if that's a concern you might have don't worry about it what I would do when I was pregnant because it's also an anti stretch mark kind of situation thing going on here um, after the shower in the evenings I would just like douse myself pretty much head to toe all the areas um, in hopes that I would prevent as many stretch marks I actually didn't get any stretch marks on my belly. I got a few stretch marks in other places, which is weird. Places that I didn't actually put oil as often as I should have. If you feel like your face needs like a really big dose of moisture, why not give it a try? I tend to get a lot of pedicures and manicures. If you happen to be getting these frequently, you might notice that it dries out your nails. You can get little white patches on your nails. When I am giving my nails an opportunity to breathe in between manicures, I actually take a little bit of coconut oil and I just rub it on my nails until it's absorbed. And then I do it on my toenails too. And it makes your nails like really shiny and they look really healthy and it's really good for your cuticles. If there's any boys listening, you may want to muff it for a second, but you can actually use it if you have a yeast infection. You take a tampon, dip it into some coconut oil and use it for that. If you're trying to do something maybe a little bit more natural kind of a cure, it's also a personal lubricant. Oh, did I just say that? But be careful. Don't use it with latex because oil and latex, I'm not sure that those two things go together. We use cloth diapers with Esme and she's 11 months old, as you might know. We use coconut oil as a diaper rash cream. And her skin is beautiful and soft and actually when she was a little itty bitty baby and wasn't as squirmy as she was now, I would do daily massages for her right after her evening bath. And you get in there, you grease all the creases. She's living in a really tropical place. You tend to have more opportunity for fungus to grow and so coconut oil is antifungal, covers all your bases. Yeah, I mean, if you Google it, you're going to see that a lot of cloth diapering mamas use coconut oil. It doesn't ruin your cloth diapers. It doesn't have any, it doesn't change the color or anything. One thing with it though, is that I don't travel with it. I don't want to have a little bottle of oil in my diaper bag because I think that could just get a little messy. And the other cool thing is you can actually ingest coconut oil. You can add it to a smoothie. You can put it in yogurt. You, I'm not a personal fan of cooking with it. Coconut oil tends to solidify at 24 degrees Celsius. When I was living in Canada, in the winter months, I would keep it in the bathroom because then it would always stay liquid. So I buy a big bottle like this, but I don't particularly like lugging this big bottle around the house. I went to Tesco and I bought a couple of these. I think there's soya sauce bottles out here. That's actually how I use it in day to day life. We love it. If you have any nut allergies in your family history, you're going to want to just be wary. Check with your doctor. If you use coconut oil and you have different ways that you use it in your daily life, I would love to hear about it. Leave some comments below. I hope it gives you a little bit more insight as to how you can use coconut oil in your everyday life. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click above. Go to our Facebook page and like there. Add us on Instagram and give our blog some love. I'll leave the links below. Thanks for watching everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.